My name is Stanley Waters. One day I was sitting in my choir class and the kid was playing Fairlease and uh, recognized the tune, so I wanted to learn how to play it. And it took me about a week, maybe two weeks to learn it. And after I learned it, I just wanted to learn more. So I just started from there. Some people have different perspectives and different understanding of music and how they listen to it and perceive it and how it makes them feel. Because I still can't, just some of my friends, I try to get them just to listen to classical music and I just can't and I'm trying to explain to them. You know, it's, it's not even about that it doesn't have words and it's just music. It's the way it makes you feel and, you know, what visuals come to your head or what it makes you think about. And they just don't catch on. Sometimes I just, it just, ooh. has a taste, their style of music I've never heard before. It's just unlike anything I've ever heard and have yet to hear. I'll sit on the bus and just walk out to it and people think I'm listening to rap because I'm bobbing my head so hard and I'm just listening to Beethoven or Chopin. What are you listening to, Chopin? Oh, really? Who's that? Learning by ear was always my favorite thing, and if I learned it by ear, I knew I always remember it, so anything I've ever learned by ear, I've never forgotten. I can kind of, just hearing it, I can have a generalized idea of what the hands are doing, and then where they are on the keyboard, and then just kind of break it down as much as possible if I hear it, try and slow it down in my head, and try and hear each individual note, and pick out which one's the right hand, which one's the left hand, what part's the main theme, what part's the accompaniment, and the harmonies, and just pretty much pick, a, just pick the piece apart and just break it down as small as possible and then take it from there. Gloria Wiley, uh, she's, uh, she's out there. That's all I have to say, she's out there. And, you know, my first impression of her was just, I don't think I'm going to like this woman. She's she's kind of, she's weird for me. I've never met anyone like this. And after the first lesson, I was still kind of feeling that way, but as time progressed, I just, you know, I think I, this, she's pretty cool. She's unlike any, ever, any person I've ever met. And you know, she's got me even looking at piano from a different perspective. And, you know, she's made me even like it even more, which I didn't think was possible. And I don't know, I just thank her for giving part of her time just to teach me. That's just so awesome. My favorite thing she pointed out was how the the whole thing behind dissonance and how, you know, if you can make what one key on a piano can make other strings, you know, start sound after you've played it. And I didn't know that. And that's just so cool to me now. So anytime I play something that's all really dissonant, I like to play a chord and sit my head inside the piano and just listen to all the different strings that are ringing. I didn't know that, and this is so cool when I first found that out. I don't really know where I can go with piano, but I just know I want to get there. You know, and even if I'm not, you know, if I'm not going to be the best pianist in the world, I at least want to be able to teach the best pianist in the world. And of course, I'm going to play forever. It's my escape. It's what I. It's, it's how I get away.